Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm going to teach you the opening lick from Sunshine of My Love by Cream on an A harmonica. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please click like, share this video and subscribe to my channel for free harmonica lessons every single week. Remember to click both the subscribe button and the little bell, which means you'll get a notification every time I post a new lesson each week. So in the intro to this video, I played three different versions all mixed up together of this lick because you can actually play it in three different places on the harmonica. Now the easiest version is just using bends and that is in the lower octave, so the bottom three holes of the harmonica. Okay, now we're going to do that one first, and then we're going to look at some of the other versions further up the harmonica. They do use overblows and an overdraw as well, but um, we'll start with this one that just uses bends. So we've got two draw twice, and then we've got the full step bend, the lowest bend on two, and then two draw again. And then we go down to the one draw, and then play the one draw bend, and then the one blow. to put those together. And then, finally, we've got the two draw, the three draw semitone bend, and then the two draw again. Now, there's something a little bit interesting about that ending there. If you listen to the original tune, the whole line is descending, okay? So in theory, we should play the last three notes lower than the, the previous notes. Now, the problem for us is that we've run out of space on the harmonica. We can't go any lower than the one blow, so we're gonna move up. Now, one of the good things about having the higher octave versions is you can start to mix and match how you play those, so you can actually do a fully descending line from the kind of higher notes downwards, but we'll we'll get to that. Let's look at this so far. So those notes all together again. Now those notes on the one draw or and the bend and then the one blow, they can throw people off sometimes and it's actually for me, what makes this a really, really cool lick, those notes are on the offbeat or the, the upbeat. So it's kind of the halfway point between the beats. So da 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 da. It's quite hard to count. Da da and ba 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 ba. So it's when my hand's coming up, not when it's clicking. Da da and ba 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 ba. Now that means if you're a beginner, if you're just getting used to playing maybe with a metronome, that sort of thing, you might find those a little bit difficult to, to um, place perfectly. I re recommend listening to the original version. I'm using an A harmonica today, partly because I'm not very good at overblows and this one's a little bit easier to overblow on, uh, but the original version is I believe it's in D, which would mean you'd need a G harmonica. So grab your G harmonica if you want to play along with Cream and try and get the timing for that. So that's the lower octave version. So crucial that you get the timing right and also the bends on two and one and, and then three. You've got to get those in tune to get that really bluesy, rocky sort of sound. Now, if we move further up the harmonica, If we do it that way, we're using uh, between holes four and six, so we've just shifted everything up a bit. So the notes would be six blow twice, five draw, six blow again, four draw, four draw bend, four blow, six blow, and then six overblow, and then six blow. Okay, now don't worry if you don't overblow, because I'm gonna give you another option with this one, so stick with me, don't turn off yet. But if we play it with the overblow, you've got
Okay, so that's the exact notes that we played on holes one to three. We've moved everything up an octave. The harmonica has a three octave range from, from the lowest note to the highest, you've, you've got three octaves. It's got missing notes, hence the bends and the overblows and overdraws, but in terms of range, there's quite a big range. So it's always possible to move things if you find the way to get the notes out of the harmonica. Now, if you can't overblow, don't worry. You can just substitute the last three notes of the low version into this one. So two draw, three draw semitone bend, two draw. And actually what you'll get then is a fully descending line. So a truer representation of the original song. So yeah, really, really nice. And the good thing about having that option is if you're playing this over and over, if say you're backing up a band and playing this, it goes through it a few times before the chord changes. You can try all these different options. If you're able to put the overblow in, you could do a low version, and then you could do the high version, and then you could do the high version with the bends, uh, the lower notes at the end. You could also do the lower version, but incorporating some of that higher section. <coughs> Excuse me. So you could, you could go up from the two draw notes, you could go up to the four draw, four draw bend, four blow. So you're kind of mix, mixing and matching different sections of it. And I did a little bit of that in the intro. I was just improvising it, so I'm not sure the exact combinations I did. So that would be your middle octave version. Now what you can do up here as well is put some tongue slaps in. If you're a tongue blocker, or octaves, three, six below octave, and then two, five, flat and seventh, dirty sounding thing, yeah. Um, so, you can put some extra textures in there. This might beg the question, why didn't I just give you the lick starting on six, going down to two as the main thing? Well, I think there's just something really cool about those lower notes. It's a really nice sort of range to be sitting in. So, I like to have the different combinations. And finally, you can use the higher notes, the highest octave of the harmonica, holes uh, seven to 10 to do this yet again. So what are our notes with the higher octave version? Well, it gets a little bit squeaky, so you don't want to be playing it up there all the time. We're using blow bends as an overdraw as well, which is a little bit hellish. So you kind of you want to be sparing with this. I think I just played it once in the demo today. But here we go, it sounds like this. Okay, so you've got nine blow twice, nine draw, nine blow. And then eight draw, seven overdraw, that's the equivalent of the four draw bend or the one draw bend. And then seven blow, nine blow, ten blow full uh, step bend, and then nine blow again. Okay, so you have to excuse my overdraw, I don't really play overdraws, I've just stuck it in for this because I wanted to teach it to you and it, it's there, you know, it's doable. So, this, this, the whole thing is a little bit kind of squeaky and awkward up there, but it's really good practice. So that bit's okay, just the nine blow twice, nine draw, nine blow. And then that's your eight draw, seven overdraw, seven blow. And then, so nine blow, 10 blow, full step bend, and then nine blow again. If you are going to play it up here, you don't want to be playing it on a higher harmonica really than an A. Uh, if you're using a G to play in the original key, even better because it's even lower. So you get that lovely richness. You can again add octaves in. So if you wanted to. Or slaps. Just to kind of fill that out so it isn't just so high and squeaky. But a combination of all of these will give you a really nice variety in your playing so it's not just the same every time and I almost forgot to say that of course with this top octave version if you wanted to substitute the last three notes for the middle octave version so you're finishing six six overblow six blow then again you get a fully descending line so 
fully kind of in keeping with the original song. Of course, that means there's an overblow, so you've got an overdraw and an overblow, both in the same one. So you're probably better at overblowing than me anyway, so you'll probably find that okay. But a good combination of all of those will give you a nice bit of variety on this lick, and you can start to add in your own little textures and flourishes as well to really bring this out. So that's the iconic riff from Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me today. Please give me your feedback in the comments and before you go remember to click like and share this video with your friends and most of all subscribe to my channel because I put out a free harmonica lesson every single week. Just make sure you click the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you're informed every time I put up a new lesson. I take requests, so feel free to ask me for anything that you'd like to learn. I try and do as many as possible. And do get in touch on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Just search for learntheharmonica.com to find me. Until I see you again, enjoy your practice, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.